We at Boeing are sorry for the lives lost in the recent 737 MAX accidents. When ex-Boeing CEO Dennis Mullenberg first addressed a pair of 737 MAX crashes. All of us feel the immense gravity of these events across our company. He said he was sorry they happened, but he didn't apologize for his company's contribution to the problem. Now, Boeing's tone has changed, apologizing for internal communications that show Boeing employees mocked the FAA and admitting to deceiving regulators so that the MAX would get the FAA's stamp of approval without extensive pilot training. Employees saying they wouldn't put their own families on a MAX and joking about driving a cover-up. In one private chat, Boeing employees are discussing issues still to be resolved after Boeing determined pilots would only need minimal training on the MAX. That training is referred to here as Level B. One employee says, nobody asked me what the confidence level was on Level B. Another responds, sweet, you can't lie if you don't have to talk. The instant messages and emails go back at least six and a half years, and that exchange is one of many in more than 100 pages Boeing released on Thursday. The dump came just two days after Boeing reversed course on the training MAX pilots should get, now saying they should receive full motion simulator training before flying the MAX again in regular service, a recommendation that undercuts years of work to downplay the MAX's upgrades from previous 737s. That helped them avoid more extensive and expensive training. In one email, Boeing's then chief technical pilot on the 737 told an airline, there is absolutely no reason to require a MAX simulator to begin flying the MAX. Boeing does not understand what is to be gained by a three-hour simulator session when the procedures are essentially the same. In reality, MAX pilots didn't know about a critical change in the new 737 model, something called the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, or MCAS. It was designed to repeatedly push the nose down without pilot input when the plane's computer thought the plane was pitched too high. But on two flights, it activated on bad information, producing nose dives, and the pilots couldn't recover the plane. Both crashed, killing 346 people. We've confirmed that the MCAS system, as originally designed, did meet our design and safety analysis criteria and our certification criteria. That statement, and the many like it Mullenberg made, at best, grossly misleading in light of these documents. Mullenberg resigned as CEO of Boeing late last year. He had already lost his position as chairman of the board and he'd lost public confidence, especially in Congress. You're continuing to work and make $30 million a year after this horrific two accidents that caused all these people's relatives to go, to disappear, to die. Our belief is that Boeing was Take standing there with a match in the gasoline, which is the MCAS, and then talking about how far, how far the fields burn. Dennis Tager flies the 737 for American Airlines, which grounded its 24 MAX models early last year. They were dog whistling that this was, if the pilots had only acted and performed with perfection, this wouldn't have happened. That's just absurd. Boeing's new CEO, David Calhoun, is in the role as of January 13th. He takes over a beleaguered company, desperately trying to convince airlines, passengers, and regulators that the MAX can come back safely and with all of Boeing's secrets disclosed.